First Street, My Stage is in Melbourne City. We are here to show you the best street performers Australia's cultural capital has to offer. I'm a contortionist, a juggler, an acrobat, a sword swallower, and a three times Guinness World Record holder. Pool hooping started as a hobby for me, but now it is my job and it is my passion. When I perform, I build up to 30 hula hoops at a time. We are three skinny white acrobats. We specialise in corporate and festival entertainment and have been touring the world entertaining audiences for the past 10 years. Melbourne City, proud of its place as Australia's artistic epicentre. Cosmopolitan and stylish, yet rough and edgy. This dynamic multicultural artistic hub is renowned for its street culture. Acrobatic circus company, This Side Up, has friendship at its core, with old mates Casey, JB, and Christian, the founding members. Today the boys are catching up to chat about their future together. We haven't worked together for about four years, so it's just really, really great to like reconnect with your, my old brothers and it's just so good to see the boys again. I guess for me, I really know we're brothers when we haven't seen each other for a while and you walk into the same room and you just get that sense of family, that sense of being relaxed around each other. When the three of us go back together, it, it's like we just slip back into um, the good old days, if you will. Um, you know, we still share stories. We still, um, you know, have all, a lot of the same in-jokes that, we, you know, that we've had. After graduating from circus school, they decided to hit the road and take what they had learned to Europe. We wanted to create a show that we wanted to see, a show with high-level acrobatics, with great performance, great music. You know, I think we achieved that. It's pretty amazing to be able to tour and do what you love with three of your best mates, um, causing trouble, meeting people. We must have done about 30 countries in Europe. We went to Brazil, we went to Asia a bunch of times, and we definitely ticked that off so much so that I would almost had enough of it by the end. After seven years touring internationally and life on the road taking its toll, the boys want to put down roots in Melbourne. That's why this side up are itching to reform and create a new circus show with young talent. Christian's doing a bit of work around Melbourne and JB's working at the circus school. I've got a little surfboard and sunglass business. You just move into different roles in life. Life's interesting at the moment, taking uh, a slightly different approach, uh, you know, moving a little bit away from the performing, moving more into uh, directing and producing more recently. And we're super excited about bringing fresh blood into the company. Side-Up's founders have assembled with their performers and are rehearsing for their first ever Melbourne Street Showcase. We spend a lot of time focusing on the, the details. A lot of the time it's due to safety. We climb up high in the air, we're swinging around off things, we're putting the reed together really quickly, so we've got to keep an eye on safety. You know, it's a really important factor. What we're doing is, is really hideously dangerous if you're wrong. You, ready and in. That's easier. Yeah, that's it, it can, cool. That's cool. It, that's, can, it can happen after, <laughs> but the preset of it needs to be on that corner. Okay. We're using a bit of a, a new rig, um, and that's had a bit of learning. So one of the aims is to actually use the rig rather than just have it set up already to actually incorporate that into the performance. So we're just we're trying to experiment with different ways to make it interesting and see where it's going to lead. We've grown a little bit older, and our circus bodies don't sort of fit uh, the new circus now. So we've got in some really young and exciting performers, and we're just really excited to kind of step outside of the performing role and turn into a bit of a directing role. The show is coming along. There's still a few clunky bits that we just need to iron out, um, but the energy's starting to come, and people are starting to really enjoy themselves. And you can see the connections between the characters. It just kind of the show blossoms at this point. We have no idea how the streets of Melbourne are going to take it, so, yeah, it's going to be one of those um, pretty nerve-wracking sessions, I think. The day has arrived.
arrive for the debut performance of the new This Side Up. The team is preparing for their show outside Melbourne's iconic Luna Park. We're here at St Kilda, just in front of Luna Park. Um, we're about 40 minutes away from starting our show and we've already got a crowd cranking. So yeah, it's looking good. We're nearly ready to kick off and give it a good red hot go. Yeah, not doing too much here in Melbourne on the street. It's, uh, it's pretty daunting, you know, being home and having a home crowd. I reckon it'll be lovely, but um, we'll see how they respond. You know, you're not, every day you're not gonna see this sort of scale of circus on the street. It's not, it's not your typical street theater. For me, circus is for everybody. There's no one that can't do circus, and it's limitless. If you can think of something, you can do it. You know, you can at least try it and do some representation of it. So for me, it's the, 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 the endless options that circus offers is probably the most exciting thing for me. You're limited by your own imagination. Good. It was great to be back with the boys and jumping around, being a bit silly, having a home crowd, having you know such a beautiful backdrop, beautiful day, great cast, great audience. Like they're they're, they're loving. It. Melbourne is living up to its reputation as a city that values and supports street culture. The happy crowds that gather around these artists give them the fuel they need to push their limits as performers and achieve their dreams. See the audience react as well. I think they're really into it by the end. It's kind of. I think the concept works, so I'm, I'm stoked. Bring on Europe. 